Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another session of podcast. I wish and I'm sure you will enjoy listening to the progress. Doctor, there are a lot of um, signs that the teenagers show, especially do, during their teenage um, years. They, they, they are... Um, they they sometimes behave very violently they are very irritated they cheat they lie they do these kind of stuff and then hallucination and paranoia all these stuff are observed in teenagers most most of them because of uh, the environment the food that they uh, the food that we have now but where do we draw the line doctor what is normal and what is abnormal and what are the red flags that are to be observed I don't think so. All the teenagers behave like not all, but now we can see there are a lot of people who uh, you. If you ask the parents, they will tell you that you know the teenagers they they throw tantrums very easily. See, this is basically um, um, dependent. Uh, the whole uh, concept what you are talking about is basis for which comes on the parental condition. It is not the fault of the teenager. of course uh, when you cross uh, your uh, 12 13 years there are a lot of changes biologically happens so these biological changes uh, gives you lot of uh, uh, different types of mental framework of your uh, thinking lines you know you have a large future ahead and uh, today the demand for uh, electronics and uh, pocket money is very high because you are too much to freak around whatever you call it so fortunately uh once upon a time the availability of the drugs were not there much uh, there are only few number of things only in uh, i think uh, 17th century 1600 plus the german company called merck came out with uh, extraction of uh, a painkiller called morphine from opium still today he is one of the richest company in the world they made the biggest money uh, now the availability of uh, alcohol drugs and all is very high and uh, the Uh, the the urban society even the rural society has almost become the urban society things are available for everyone so uh, it depends on uh, the parental condition here both the parents are working they have no uh, direct monitoring on the children so adolescence when you come uh, there are a lot of uh, psychological weakness etc so who's going to guide these people whether the parents are equipped enough to educate them the uh, principles of those physiological changes it's a big question mark i don't think so most of the parents are capable of doing that but at least they can observe doctor they can observe their kids and then um, you know even though they are working it's their kids so obviously they will observe the if they, if there is any behavioral changes it can if if there is a red flag they can be aware of it that is the reason why we put this question here yeah it, it is uh, it is basically uh, because of the peer group in which these children move around so you stop them they they get angry you stop their uh, video gaming they get angry you cannot uh, make them stay away from screens they are exposed to internet once you are exposed to internet you are exposed to pornos then uh, partying becomes uh, a culture these days with children after the age of 12 13 where they succumb to some minor form of alcohol many of them get uh, habituated to smoking and drugs which they hide and do initially then they will do it openly so the requirement for uh, some amount of money on a daily basis i see i see children uh, in the last 10 12 years they bring 500 rupees every day to the school can you believe it yeah i see that too yeah so uh, one of my friend i don't want to name the lady yeah she used to give her son who went to college um about uh, no when he finished his plus 2 and he was uh, you know waiting for some college admission with entrance and all that he used to go for play tennis and all that she she used to give her give him a pocket money of 1500 bucks a day wow 1500 in that's it's huge money and uh, and and, and uh, that boy used to say that's not enough for him so there are number of reasons for all this not all children are going to be whatever you call it as hallucinating or paranoia and all that all the big words i don't think so but uh, then uh, the uh, uh, present day society is so funny uh, it, it it is going to drive everybody crazy the way in which things are going yeah so people are uh, 
if suppose some uh, cell phone is uh, mobile phone is given to you more than a year it is become very outdated all his friends are going to have latest phones in his hand and this guy is going to compare himself with them and he is going to come and create a lot of pressure uh, put a lot of pressure on the parents and say come on i i need i need this model that model that's going to be very very uh, costly but the parents have no other choice other than to you know buy and give it to him all that kind of thing but uh, the, the 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 whole point is that where will you mark a line where will you draw a line where will you lift the red flag and all that they are all uh, two bigger dialogues so if the adolescent boy or a girl is going to slip around slip from the track and go uh, against the norms of what your expectations his or her behavior should be you can't do anything it's too difficult for you because after one point of time they are not going to listen to you unless and until you have brought up the child in a, in a, in a cordial atmosphere which normally parents do not understand parents push their children for more and more uh, might that the children should bring in you know studying well and you know getting distinctions and marks and marks is mark oriented education is all uh, you know crazy and you have to mold a child today to fight this world uh, for uh, economic stability so these parents they compare th their children with the other children a lot so there are a lot of messes going on and there is no solution for all these things because you cannot take this as an uniform stuff each family differs from another and each parent differ from another and each gene differ from another so it can be only seen as a, a personalized part of that particular parent and that particular child and how best that particular parent is going to handle when the things are going to go out of the track with that adolescent boy or a girl that's going to be a big question mark thank you thank you very much for spending your quality time thank you very much for your attention i wish you enjoyed this session see you later